FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 name update, and we've got a sea of green out there with regard to the U.S. indices that we track. Dow's up 1,275 points, 3 percent, uh, 1 and 8 tenths percent for the S&P, 103 points there. NASDAQ, 372 points, less than 2 percent. Russell's up 4.5%. That's a $103 move out there. That's a biggie. Nearly 2% for the semis, 94 points there. The train is up 633, nearly a 4% move there. New York Stock Exchange up about 1.25%, 236 points. Obviously now has worked off that oversold condition that we've discussed. You had gold that's down 64 bucks, trading out at 26.85. That's up 2 and 3 tenths. Uh, silver is down uh, buck 27, nearly 4%. Natural gas up 3 cents. Lights recruit up 55 pennies. The 30-year treasury down almost two and a half points. He's printed out at 115.24. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini in the upper left hand side. So what do you have? The, the level we're watching today is the top of that new profile. That's at 57.31. If price closed above, what did I say? Top of the, oh, geez, geez Louise, Stevie. The top of the profile, 59.01. Wake up. 5901. If price closed by 5901, we're likely going to see that move to the 6,1275 level. That's its A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. Spot VIX index, what a move that is. We'll talk about that during the Trader's Ed show, but it's now well below minus 10% out there. That's signaling that we uh, would have a uh, an initiation move to higher price uh, if we get below that minus 10 percent, close below that minus 10 percent level today. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ has found resistance up at the top of its profile, 278850 out there. That's the level that price would need to close above to signal to you and I that price wants to get to the 216150 level. I don't know that that's going to happen today. You got the DAX trading to the downside. You got the uh, NASDAQ trading to the upside out there. It just says be careful. With regard to the U.S. dollar index, it's taking out its TD9 count top. It accomplishes that task with a move above or close above 104.41. Looks like that's the likely outcome, but you never know. The day is early. Goldilocks has made its way back to the center of its buy zone of its weekly profile. That buy zone up. Uh, Buy area is between 26.18 and 26.64. Um, well, geez, didn't even see that. Folks, sorry that we didn't get to everything out there, but stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. I'm sure we'll cover most of these, uh, uh, most of these uh, uh, future contracts. Uh, have a uh, wonderful Wednesday, but stay tuned if you can. We'll be right back.